And tonight, prosecutors are sharing new details about the final moments of rapper Nip Nipsey Hussle's life. Yeah, they say Hussle told Eric Holder the word on the street was that he was a snitch, then Holder opened fire. KCLI's Randy Page has newly released grand jury testimony. Eric Holder, seen here in court, was indicted by a criminal grand jury for the murder of popular rap artist Nipsey Hussle. We now know what led the grand jury to indict him through this 512-page transcript of grand jury testimony. It begins with Prosecutor John McKinney's opening statement to the jury as he details the testimony they will hear from the prosecution's star witness, identified only as witness number one, Eric Holder's girlfriend, who was behind the wheel of his car as the two of them pulled into a South L.A. strip mall where Nipsey Hussle was standing talking to friends on the afternoon of March 31st. Mr. Holder got out of the car, immediately walked up to the group where Mr. Hustle was, and then had a conversation, the prosecutor told the grand jury. That conversation is important because that conversation has something to do with Nipsey Hussle accusing Mr. Holder of snitching, which in the gang world is a very serious offense. The prosecutor went on to say Holder's girlfriend will testify she took a photograph with Nipsey Hussle and she drove Holder away from the strip mall. After they drove off, Mr. Holder pulled out a gun, told witness number one to drive around the block. Witness number one drove Mr. Holder around the block, also told him to put the gun away, the prosecutor said. She was concerned that he might shoot her accidentally or shoot somebody from her car. He then told her to pull over at a certain location near the strip mall, and he told her to wait there. He'd be right back. He walked off, back toward the parking lot, where he then walked up to within a couple of feet of Nipsey Hussle and fired multiple rounds into him from two different guns. Eric Holder's defense attorney tried to keep this transcript secret, saying it could violate his client's right to a free trial by tainting the jury pool. But the judge said he didn't think so. In fact, he said, and I'm quoting him now, we live in a society that is moving away from the printed page and in fact, he said, if the prosecutors just keep a lid on the video evidence in this case, the judge thought it wouldn't be any problem. In downtown Los Angeles, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.